I guess this is going to be an annual thing now. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. It is 2020. I know we're almost through January, but I did want to talk about some of the changes that this channel is going to be going through in 2020. Some, I don't want to necessarily say they're goals that I have for the year because I set some goals last year. Don't really remember what they were. Probably should have written them down a little bit better, but don't really have goals this year because I don't think I accomplished any of those goals that I set last year. I think one of them was Twitch maybe, but there are some changes that I've started implementing at the end of last year, like October-ish of last year that I wanna talk a little bit more about and maybe explain why those changes happened and what will be happening with them a little bit more down the road. There are not a lot of changes, but there will be some changes. I will still be doing the hauls every month, a 1001 movie challenge every other Sunday. I will still be doing trailer reactions. They may not be as often as they used to be. It'll probably be whenever there is a trailer that I really want to see or just have the energy to do a trailer reaction to a trailer that I want to see and do a reaction to. Like most recently, the new Birds of Prey trailer came out. I wanted to do a reaction to it, but when I got home after work, I had had a really long day and I did not feel like doing a reaction video to it, so I didn't. And I'll probably be going forward what happens. I just, there are some times where I'm like, I want to do a trailer reaction and I'll do one. But there's other times where I want to do a trailer reaction, but I also am not in the right headspace to do a trailer reaction, if you get what I mean. Mental health is really key in this entire video. The biggest change will be to my new movie reviews and just movie reviews in general. I will still be doing movie reviews. It is what my channel is built on. They are very easy and fun for me to do, but I will be a little bit more selective about the reviews that I do end up doing because it does take a little bit of time for me to do them. And sometimes I do have to be in the right headspace just like with the trailer reactions. As you may have noticed towards the end of 2019, I kind of tapered off a little bit of doing new movie reviews. I think I saw between all of November and December a total of like 15 films and I only did a review on like maybe five of them. The rest of them I have taken notes for and will be posting on Patreon throughout the year in more of a blog style format. And honestly, one of those films, I recorded a video for it. I just haven't edited it at all because I just haven't really felt like it. It's a little, maybe I'm getting a little bit burnt out. I don't know, but I kind of want to take a small step back and do a movie review when I want to. It'll probably become my regular Tuesday video whenever I go see a new movie. I will still be trying to see as many movies as I possibly can because it's kind of my New Year's resolution slash goal to see more than the 60 something movies I saw by the end of 2019. So I will be seeing as many new movies as I possibly can, but I won't necessarily be doing a video on them. So to sum this all up, to make it a little bit more cohesive, because I feel like I've just kind of been rambling, I will be doing movie reviews on Tuesdays most of the time. If there is a video that I feel like making on a Tuesday, I will maybe push the movie review that I want to do or I've recorded back to Friday or something, but they won't always be as soon as the movie comes out and I will be talking a little bit about why I'm doing all of this change even though I have kind of mentioned it a little bit earlier a little bit later in the video but any other movies that you see maybe pop up in my letterbox or that I talk about on social media I definitely recommend following the list on my letterbox of all of the movies that I watch in 2020 or all the new movies at least that I watch in 2020 because if there is a movie that you want to see my opinion or my thoughts on I won't write a review on letterbox I will be posting the notes that I take while watching that movie on to my patreon for the 10 plus patrons with a little bit more of a blog style format than what I would normally do for the notes that I post for any of my other like videos that I do a review on. And posting my notes to Patreon kind of brings me to my next and last-ish change that I will be making is I will be a lot more active 
on my Patreon. So if you want to see more from me, I definitely recommend going and checking my Patreon out because right now you get early access to videos at least 24 hours for the most part. You also get the Patreon notes. You can get bonus reaction videos once a month. You can get a bonus movie or TV show review once a month. Both of those things chosen by patrons. There's also polls that happen only on there. You get early access to my podcast as well, plus access to a Discord server that probably needs a little bit more love than it's getting right now. In 2020, some of the things that you can expect to see from me on there, more bloggy type posts and behind the scenes, early access and sneak peeks at some projects that I'm working on that I'm really excited about. And I may be starting a couple Patreon exclusive podcasts. They'll be very short, like maybe 30 minutes long, but they will be Patreon only podcast episodes. And they won't be super regular. They'll be when I feel like making them and they will probably be part of the $5 early release tier. So to kind of close this all out, why am I making these changes? I did talk about it a little bit earlier, but it's really for my mental health. I have been pushing myself and really only focusing on my channel for so long, plus working full-time. I spend about 40 hours a week at my regular full-time job every weekday, and then I spend upwards of 30 hours a week, sometimes 40, working on channel stuff. I love this channel. It is my favorite thing to do, but it is really just a hobby and I love it so much, but I also want to kind of have a life and hang out with my friends and do other things. I want to go see movies just for the sake of going to see a movie. I will still take notes, but I also sometimes want to go see a movie for myself, like I did with Little Women. It was a very personal movie to me that I didn't really want to make a video and talk about. So I kind of just watched the movie and took notes and it was a movie for myself. And like I said, I want to hang out with my friends. They've been trying to get me to go out, but I'm always like, you know what? I'm too busy. I got to focus on my channel. got to focus on making these videos. But really, you only live once and you can't be working the entire time. And I have a very workaholic personality. So when I start working, I literally focus only on that. Sometimes I even forget to eat. I will sit down at my desk for eight to 12 hours and just edit a video and forget about eating. So can't really do that. And like I said, when I was talking about my Patreon, there are other projects that I really want to work on and to launch. I'm already working on some projects and you may get to see them in this year. Plus I have my podcast that takes up a lot of time as well. I wanna focus on that because I do that with my friends, maybe doing some more podcasty stuff, maybe growing that a little bit more as well. And this channel really started as a way for me to curate a portfolio of sorts of things that I can produce, which is why I do this channel. It's not just because I love making movie reviews, I love talking about movies, but it is a thing for me to show prospective employers that I can produce a digital media show. I can produce a podcast. That's why I'm building all of these different projects and stuff is because this is not my main career goal, as nice as it would be to work for myself and do movie reviews for a living. It's not sustainable. So I can take these videos and show them to an employer and be like, I can produce these different shows, not necessarily with me being in front of the camera, but behind the scenes, I know the logistics of everything. This is really a portfolio, but I love that you guys like to watch me. I appreciate it. So all in all, not like super big, massive, drastic changes, just fewer videos. I probably won't grow my channel as fast as I was before, but you know what? I don't care that much. I love doing this as a hobby. I still want to keep doing a regular video every Tuesday at least, plus my 1001 videos because I can't give up what gave this channel its name. I really can't. <laughs> if you did not know, the movie checklist stemmed from the 1001 movie challenge. I will still be doing all of the normal stuff. You may not see me as often as I used to be on here, but I will also be on Patreon and there's going to be so much more fun stuff coming to Patreon you will be very excited. You will really enjoy it. So I definitely suggest checking that out. I feel like I'm just rambling. I do have sort of a script, but I feel like a lot of this, I've just been kind of rambling. So I think I may end it there. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I really 
really do appreciate you whoever you are let me know here in the comments down below and let's be friends if you enjoyed this leave a like and subscribe if you need because i love talking links to movies tv shows swimming history all that fun stuff and i'll see you next time bye